Here are some of my favorite new clothing items from this month. So I ain't gonna lie, this one is gonna be pretty crazy when it comes to designer pickups. I got things from Balenciaga, I got things from Undercover, Arcteryx, Nike, Matthew Williams. It's just a real crazy haul that I got for y'all today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it without even delaying y'all at all. And I wanted to start off with this accessory that I got from Balenciaga. Now, huge shout out to Farfetch for sponsoring the video. If you don't know about Farfetch, basically they are one big retailer that carries a plethora of different brands. So you can see anything from higher end like Rick Owens, Balenciaga, to more streetwear stuff like Supreme, Nike, Jordan, and stuff like that. But what's unique about them is they source their inventory from different boutiques. So you're able to support different places all around the world. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the first pickup, which is this Balenciaga hat. And I'm not gonna lie, I was so excited to get this because if you've been watching the vlogs that I've been posting, I recently went to the Balenciaga store to try on a few things to see what I like and what I wanted to cop in the future. And one of the items was this Balenciaga hat right here. So basically what this is, is the embroidered six panel logo hat, which has a very unique shape. I don't know if you guys have been seeing the recent Balenciaga hats, but they have this shallow shaped baseball cap that pretty much just hugs your head in a whole different way. So it doesn't really fit like a normal trucker or anything like that. I would say it's more so, I don't know, you guys will be able to see it. But the cool thing about this hat is it has these ridges on the side with like this leather paneling on top of it, which I thought is a dope detail. And then of course you have your Balenciaga stitching in the front with the new Balenciaga logo. Now the hat is a very, very soft cotton material and it feels very sturdy. So definitely if you compare this to other hats that aren't um, I guess of designer quality, you will instantly be able to tell the difference, which kind of explains the price range on it. But nonetheless, it is a very dope designed hat fits very well, looks very fire, and I will be wearing it a ton, bro. Like, it don't even make sense how much I plan to wear this hat. So moving on into one of the bigger ticket Balenciaga items that I got from Farfetch is gonna be this track jacket right here. Now, I believe the specific name is the Logo Motif track jacket, but this joint right here, is so cozy, bruh, it doesn't even make sense. Like, it's basically a 100% polyester made track jacket, and it kind of has that fleece feel to it, similar to like the Adidas one that they released, but this was actually the one that they released before that. So I know they got the Adidas Balenciaga collection out right now. This is not a part of that, but I think it's part of the same runway, if I'm not mistaken. But definitely a crazy track jacket. I picked this up specifically to wear on those more cozier days. So whenever it's like more chilly outside and I'm not trying to do too much, but I'm still rocking Balenci, you feel me? This is gonna be what I instantly go to. So maybe occasions like the airport, shopping, stuff like that when I'm just chilling, but definitely a crazy piece. The way that it is tailored is what really separates it from just being a regular track jacket because I know that's the look that they were going for but it still has that Balenciaga shaping to it. So definitely fire, you have a couple of different Balenciaga details and logos on the chest as well as the zippers. And then you have your typical stripes going down the side of the sleeves and then another layer of stripe in the back. In addition to those details, you have your two zipper pockets on the sides and then you have this drawstring mechanism at the bottom that kind of cinches in the waist if you want that cropped look. But I'm still kind of torn whether I like to wear it cropped or just the full bagginess of it, but I'm sure it's just gonna end up being whatever I wear on the bottom. So definitely a fire pickup. We're gonna move on to the next one. So I ain't gonna lie, this is like the perfect fall clothing haul because I have picked up everything that fully equips you for anything that fall can throw your way. So right here, I got this jacket by Undercover and it is a high shine polyurethane jacket all the way through and it basically serves the purpose as a rain jacket. Now, you do have a couple of different details that makes it a undercover jacket. One being the undercoverism for Rebels logo right under this zipper in the front left side. But one of the biggest details that I found on this jacket is this back panel. Now, I'm not quite sure what purpose this back panel serves yet, but you can unzip it and you have this kind of 
flap in the inside. Now, it's not really big enough to kind of carry anything in, but um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out if it is something that's just strictly for aesthetics or if it serves some sort of purpose. But other than that, you have your typical rain jacket type of details like the pockets on the side and the big zipper, but the zipper does have like a hidden effect so it has the seamless flap right over it and then a hidden button at the top but overall a crazy jacket i feel like it's very thin and it's on sale right now so the price originally was pretty hefty but i think it's a lot more reasonable with the sale so if you go to farfetch right now you'll see what i'm talking about and on top of that y'all know i had to bless y'all with the discount code so make sure you use the discount code up on the screen and i believe you'll be able to use it on both new accounts and existing accounts even if you you don't buy anything make sure you go down and click the links anyway and you'll be able to search different stuff outside of what i showed on this video so the next pickup i'm not gonna lie is one that i've had for quite some time but i figured that now would be the perfect time to show it because i know a lot of people are looking for the best fall jacket so this right here is pretty much a shell type jacket from nike designed by matthew williams and i've had my eye on it for quite some time like the balenciaga hat i went out to the stores and was shopping for this as well and i finally got it for the craziest price but there are a bunch of different details about this jacket that i think makes it really fire but first off the full construction of it is nylon so like i said it's kind of like one of those shell jackets that kind of wicks away water and stuff like that so it's very good for the rain but one thing that i think is really cool is the whole neck and hoodie system so so you have these hidden buttons as well and you have this big flap that goes over it so whenever it's unzipped you see a whole bunch of flaps and it just looks so beautiful bro i'm not gonna lie to you but outside of that you have this big neck covering which almost serves as like a turtleneck and you can kind of hide your face or mask your face up if you would like and then you have the hood that goes on top of that with these crazy straps so definitely a bunch of different ways that you can wear it one of the cool features is you can detach the hood if you would like which actually makes it a whole different convertible jacket which is crazy now moving on i'm not gonna lie we got another clothing item that i've actually had for quite some time and i just didn't have the right opportunity to show it off to you guys yet but these right here are the rick owens drop crotch bella pants by the dark shadow line so these right here i just caught because i thought that the orange colorway that rick owens produced for that past season was just really really nice you guys know i got the trucker jacket as well and when i felt and seen this burnt orange color i was like i gotta get something else because i know rick doesn't play too much with colors so went ahead and grab these pants i'm sure you guys kind of know the detailing behind most of the dark shadow pants but you have your signature rick owens zipper right here in front with the two buttons right below it you have your signature drawstring you have your side pockets and back pockets and overall you just have your very uniquely woven Rick Owens cotton. I don't know what it is about the way that the cotton is woven in Rick Owens materials, but it just always feels so nice and technical. And I really enjoy that about them, but definitely a fire pair of pants. I probably should get the black ones as well, but we haven't gotten that far. Now moving on for all my Arcteryx fans out there, the boy finally went ahead and copped a jacket from Arcteryx. And I must say, I'm very impressed with how the jacket is constructed. And I only went with the lightweight one. So this is actually not the typical Arcteryx jackets that a lot of the other people end up getting. I got a lightweight version because I do live out in LA and I really don't have a real need for like a heavy Gore-Tex Arcteryx jacket. So I went ahead and got this lightweight one. I believe it is called the Gamma SL hoodie. So definitely very nice um, and technical still. So you still have that same look of all of the other Arcteryx jackets. So you have your signature hood that kind of has the pull drawstring. It kind of fits over your head like a hat. You have your different drawstrings on the waistband as well. And then you have your hidden pockets with zippers on the side. But overall, I feel like the colorway of this is what makes it really, really crazy. And I feel like I'm able to pair it with a lot of the black stuff that I wear. And right along with it, I made sure I went ahead and grabbed some Arcteryx pants as well. Now, when I seen these, I thought that 
they were very unique because they're not like the Arcteric pants that I went and tried a while back. So these are actually a lot different. They have zipper detailings on the side of them, which is crazy. So almost like the same idea as breakaway pants, except for with zippers. So you're able to adjust it at the hip as well as the bottom, which I don't know anybody that's gonna adjust it at the hip, but you can give that flare effect at the bottom if you're trying to cover a pair of boots or something. So I chose this very unique blue colorway, which is an alternative to the black pair that I really wanted, but they sold out in my size. So I copped these, which I feel like are just as unique, but can't wear them as every day that I would want to. Now, next up, we have this very delicate sweater from the brand Sakraga. Now, this specifically is the loose gauge mohair knit sweater in this like white colorway. And I think that the cut on this is very unique. As you can kind of see, it, the shoulders kind of drop a little bit, but they kind of cut in less of an oval shape and more to a point on your shoulders. So you guys will be able to see how unique the fit is. It has a very tight knit lining around the neck as well, which makes it look very, very fitted. And then you sort of have a crop in the body. So definitely a very unique sweater, a very unique texture as well, and will definitely be easy to pair with a lot of fall outfits and different layering. And then moving towards the end, we got two fire pieces from our people over at Mazir Moderna. And y'all know that this, I've been rocking with this brand for a minute now, bro, because they just, they just be hitting different, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. But he recently released this star collection. So I have this shirt right here, which is very similar to the ones that I've shown off in the past. So you have Mazir and then Starman overlaid on top of the t-shirt, but it has this crazy washed effect that almost gives like a navy blue and brown rust type of look, but I think it's very fire. And then you have the Starman graphic in between that and like this green colorway. And I think all the times that I've gotten shirts from them, the fitting and then just the way that everything is washed is always just super on point. So you have that and then you have, of course, your long john sleeves coming out the side of it and all of the colors just blend so well together somehow. Like they're all very unique colors and different washes and somehow it pulls all together and looks phenomenal. So shout out to the boys over at Mazira. I'm gonna show you these pants, that's crazy. So I know I just did a video on some of the best pair of pants and if I had these, these joints, I might have thrown it in, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, but these are the Starman denims and they have a bunch of crazy details. So one of them is the fit. And I really wanna talk about the fit because I feel like it's very unique from all of the other baggy and flare type of denim. So they have this tapering that kind of sits closer to the thigh and then kind of widens as you get past the knee. And I think that it doesn't have that flare effect, but I really wouldn't say it's the same as a lot of the baggy things. So I would just say it's a very unique fit. Of course, you guys will be able to see it on body, but you also have some cool details like this biker layering that is both on the back of the waist as well as the knees. So it kind of gives like a modern feel to how Balmain used to do their jeans. So I think that is just a really cool touch and it just gives some separation from the wash of gray to the black at the bottom, which I think is really cool. And on top of that, you got your leather patch on the back, which has the stitching of the Missouri Moderna logo, which I think is fire, bro. Like, I don't think even people's patches is looking as crazy, you feel me? But that is pretty much it for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go down and check out the Farfetch links down below. Make sure you don't forget to use my discount code as well to get you some money off, because we all about saving money on these designer pieces, man. It can get real expensive out here. So make sure you do that. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video, and I'll be back to you guys with more, man. Peace. Baby. Look at the money we make it. Yeah. I can tell you everything, but I don't know how you take it. Yeah. Your room don't look familiar.